What's going on, YouTube? Fine. This your boy Tony two times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end to hear the full story and all the details in the case for the day one, fam. Y'all already know it's all love. Thanks for tuning back in to another episode. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the content, feel free to subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Let's get right into the story. Young love, when you are a teenager and find someone who understands everything you are going through, that vibe hits different. Y'all are both on the same level in life. Whether it's living with your parents, going to school, getting your first job or driver's license, so that bond seems strong. And you have an individual you can relate to on all levels. When you are that age, it's a naive thing to think, but you feel like, yeah, it's the one. We will be together forever. But at 17 or 18 years old, truly, you don't know what real love is yet. It seems so cute and harmless to people on the outside looking in. Family and friends might think, I hope they make it and are rooting for you. But the flip side of being young, you don't really understand and are not in control of your feelings yet. To some young men and women, a breakup is the end of the world or rejection. Your mind is not fully developed to understand this is just puppy love. Me and this person probably won't even remember each other in the next 10 years because this is the beginning of my adult life. You add another person in the mix, now you have two young men or women competing for their position. We all know grown people who can't control themselves if their feelings get hurt. So imagine a teenager who think they are in love with a person but feel someone else is in the way. It can get tricky for all parties involved and sometimes even fatal. And on this episode of Hood Tales, we'll be taking it to Clarksville, Tennessee to discuss a case of a young man who lost his life after being lured outside by his ex-girlfriend. Back in 2021, Armani Majors was a 17-year-old young man navigating life. Originally from Nashville, Tennessee, where he grew up and went to high school. Coming from a big family with a lot of brothers, sisters, aunts, and cousins, he mostly spent time with family or like most teen boys, played a game with friends or listened to music. At 17, the young man was fighting for his independence and found a job at Crystal's. Working gave Armani a sense of fulfillment and he was happy to be making his own money and supporting himself. But of course, being a teen boy, also on his radar was young ladies. One girl in particular, 18-year-old Miracle Bailey. Her and Armani grew tight to the point they decided to get into a relationship. The two vibed and seemed to have a strong connection, but it would eventually fizzle out and the two went their separate ways. They kept in contact as friends though. The problem with Miracle having a male ex-boyfriend as a friend was she was already in a new relationship with an 18-year-old young man named Robert Holland. On December 8th, 2021, the new couple was together when Armani called Miracle's phone. Robert knowing that was Miracle's ex, he became furious and the two got into an argument. Robert mad decided to take her home and head his separate ways. But the young man had a plan of his own. Not long after taking her to the crib, Robert called Miracle and stated, call your boy, tell him you want to see him and meet him at his house in Clarksville. The young lady did what she was told and FaceTimed Armani. Happy to hear from her, she stated, I'm around your way, I'm about to pull up because I want to see you. The young man walked outside, phone in hand, excitedly asking Miracle where she was at. Seconds later, shots went off. Witnesses saw the incident and called local police, who responded to Buckshot and Whitetail Drive to find a male victim shot multiple times and unfortunately pronounced gone at the scene. Family who ran out identified the young man as 17-year-old Armani. On the scene was 40 caliber shell casings and one 9mm shell, also a cell phone that belonged to Armani. Family stated he was on FaceTime with a young lady when he left the house. As police read Instagram messages in the young man's phone, they received a call about 9 p.m. that a vehicle that matched the description of the getaway call witnesses saw was speeding away from the area near a public grocery store on Madison Street. Police gave chase 
The vehicle stopped on Lincoln Drive and four people jumped out and fled on foot. A chase was stopped as the driver eventually was caught and his possession was a black ski mask. Police also found the 40 caliber handgun by the path the man was running in. Back at the whip was a 9mm clip and other items. The suspect and driver of the car was identified as Robert. He was taken into custody for questioning, but police also wanted to speak to Miracle. The young lady was also picked up at the station. Robert admitted he was driving the car but had no knowledge of a shooting and stated they only fled because they had guns in the whip. But Miracle had a different story. After hearing Armani was gone, she admitted Robert was her boyfriend and the victim was her ex. And earlier that day, they got into an argument about him calling her phone. And she saw Robert had his gun on him before he took her home and demanded she call her mom. She stated she was in fact the young lady on a FaceTime call. With that, Robert was charged with criminal homicide, weapon violations, evading arrest, and reckless endangerment. Miracle was charged with facilitating a hit. As of now, the case hasn't made its way to trial yet, and the two are innocent until proven otherwise. Rest in peace to Armani. I send my deepest prayers and condolences to his family. All he did wrong was to trust a girl he wasn't with no more. He probably didn't even know Miracle had a new dude. Or if he did, obviously, she was still communicating with him for the young man to feel that comfortable with her pulling up. It's almost like it was normal. Robert at 18 probably threw his life away because he was jealous. And being that young, let his emotions get the best of him. He didn't even follow the golden rule. You never check the man, always your girl. If Amani felt comfortable calling, it was for a reason. So I can't let the young lady off the hook. Miracle is one of the exact reasons I tell my teenage daughters, don't be out here thinking you are slick, playing with these little boys' hearts. Because if they hurt you, I'm in a position I might have to crash out. And if they hurt somebody else over your games, now you gotta live with that forever. And in her case, she allegedly baked the cake and set up the whole play. The crazy thing about these stories, Armani is gone. Robert probably do decades if convicted. And Miracle will probably get a slap on the wrist, go on to get married, have babies, free to live her life. So young men and women, I know you think your puppy love is solid, but don't crash out in the beginning of your life over somebody who doesn't know what they want yet because y'all are both too young. And remember, we got to succeed not to fail. So we won't be just another hood to yeah, man, crazy situation. I ain't gonna talk too much more about this one. Rest in peace, that young man. I send my prayers and condolences to his family. Definitely let me know what y'all think in the comments. Remember to be respectful. I appreciate you if you made it to the end. Y'all already know it's all love, fam. It's another episode of Hood Tales. It's your boy Tony Two Times. I'm out.